This instructional film is intended to demonstrate the application of Axel Heel alongside compression wraps. Our process starts once the primary dressing has been applied to the wound. Make sure you have everything ready and close to hand to ensure an efficient dressing change for your patient. Prior to applying Axel Heel's electrode pad, ensure any excessive dry skin is removed and avoid using emollients. The selected area needs to be cleaned with the wipes provided within the treatment pack. This preparation will ensure a good adhesion of the electrode pads. Apply the Axel Heel pads as close as possible to the wound site on healthy skin either side of the wound, but ensure the pads are applied away from the area covered with the primary dressing. You are now ready to apply the compression wrap. First, protect the area under the electrode wires with a simple foam adhesive dressing to avoid any pressure injuries. Then follow the manufacturer instructions for applying the wrap and feed the wire between the overlap straps. Once you have applied the wrap, you are ready to connect the Axel Heal device to the electrode pads. Connect the treatment device to the electrode pads by pushing the electrode connectors into the electrode pad receptors. Activate the treatment by pressing the on-off button down for two seconds. Secure the wires and device with tape at the top of the leg, away from the tibial crest, and secure with a tubular stockinette. Each treatment device runs for 48 hours, after which time it will switch off automatically and will need replacing with a new one, which can be easily accessed without disturbing the dressing and compression therapy. The dressing and wrap can be changed according to clinical need and local policy. The electrode pads are disposed in clinical waste alongside the dressings. The device needs to be disposed of in a wee recycling facility. The treatment consists of six 48-hour devices, making it a 12-day treatment course. The Axel Heal Therapy delivers repeated treatment sessions with a resting period, which are repeated throughout the 12-day treatment period. Further instructional videos on device change and troubleshooting are available.